So, we shot this elk last night, probably only about half an hour, 45 minutes of light left. So we gutted it out, splayed it out, you can see here in, in the video here. Got it all nice and cooled out, and we're in an area where there's not really that much grizzly sign, okay? Like how many bears have you seen on your property? None. I've never seen no grizzly bears on my property. I've seen one track, that's it, in the garden. But they're here, and, and uh, you can't ever discount the fact that if you leave a kill on the ground where the grizzly bears live, there's that not to be right. I mean, there's there's a grizzly bear. You can see the horses are looking right now. There's a grizzly bear here anyway. So we came back, grizzly took a kill. You can see all the ground around us is all dug up, and uh, we took it back. And it hasn't happened that often, but um, but you can take them back. But I think I don't think you could probably take it back where grizzlies aren't hunted. Hey, no. No. We think he smelt us or heard us coming up here and he took off and he won't come back. He'll go where he can smell us and uh, as soon as he smells it, we're gone and he doesn't smell us anymore, he'll probably, he'll come right back. He'll probably track us for a bit yeah. to make sure he'll follow us to where we go and he'll come back and hit it. But regardless, uh, you just have to be terrified about. It's not like a horror movie where the grizzly bear is going to lunge out and attack you at lightning speed and kill everybody in horses. We but, hope. Yeah, we <laughs> So this is what you do to take your kill back from a grizzly bear. A, you get a gun, and yes, you put one in the tube. Grizzly bears are so fast, you're probably not going to get a chance to put one in the tube if it really came down to it. Chances are one in a million. But anyway, two, three horses minimum. If you got a dog, bring it. If there's more than two people, bring three people. There's three of us here. There's three horses and two dogs. That's way more than enough. To intimidate a bear and confuse a bear, they don't they don't like crowds, and they'll uh, move off, slink off down to you, and then you just get to business and do your thing. We've got probably 90% of the meat back. Yeah, which is great. It's still like a bit of a bummer. I mean, we still got the tenderloins, we got the back straps, we got the quarters. He ate a bunch of that. He hasn't really been here too long. Eh? No, lots of neck meat. We got pretty much all of it. It's just dirty now. It's a dirty job to clean up, but yeah. at least we got it back. So. Um, that's what you do. Uh, if you're gonna go attempt to take it back by yourself, that's absolutely basically suicide. He's gonna challenge you easily. And how are you gonna put your weapon down, put your back to the bush, and cut up your animal by yourself without a horse to warn you or your nose to warn you? It's not gonna happen. So don't be stupid. Don't attempt to take a kill back from a grizzly bear if you're by yourself. Two humans on foot without horses and dog, that'd be pretty dicey. Yeah. I wouldn't suggest that. You can try it, but uh, first off, it's illegal in British Columbia to kill a bear off of your kill. You just can't do it. He comes and gets it. Even if you tagged it, it's his. You can't shoot him and kill him. And you can't, uh, it's going to be pretty tough for you to shoot him and kill him and, and make up a story that it was self-defense because they will investigate it, where the bear was, the entry of the bullet hole matched up with your story. You're probably not going to get your lie the correct twice and you're done for. <laughs> so don't do it. But, uh, yeah, I'd say three horses minimum, man. Eh? Oh, yeah, for sure. A dog. Your horses will let you know. Just keep watching the horses. They're always listening, looking. Yeah. And if all your horses all of a sudden are like this, looking at something, pay attention. That's where he is. <laughs> That's where he's at. He's definitely over there right now. He's back here somewhere. Yeah, the horses keep looking that way. Yeah. But uh, I'm totally calm. I wasn't nervous about it. There's too no. much. There's too, there's too many horses. We got too much big of a crowd. We're too big of a team. It's not going to happen, but the gun was always at least two feet away from us the whole time with right. one in the tube. Yeah. Don't take a chance. So so there you go. That is our video on taking back your kill. Unfortunately, it happened, so we're using it right now. And uh, that's about it. That's how she goes.